Yo, what's going on guys? This is the 4th Gen Gamer here, bringing you guys a brand new series! Although I am not alone today, I am with a good buddy of mine, go ahead and introduce yourself. What is up guys, it is Zypher here, and we are doing a, uh, what are we doing Josh? We're doing a Pokemon X and Pokemon Y, we'll throw back, we'll throw back, <laughs> versus Solo Walk. So, I'm gonna explain all the rules and everything, and Xerneas is spinning around like a motherfucker on my screen right now. But before I go crazy into the rules and everything, I think it's good that we should start it off and everything, and we're gonna be doing timed episodes, and I'm gonna start the timer for a certain amount of time. Every episode is going to be 20 minutes of gameplay in it. Now, right now, episode 1 is going to be 10 minutes, just because, I don't know, it's episode 1. Let's just start off nice and basic so you guys can see what it's all about. And I think we're ready to play. I think we're ready to play. Are you ready? I am ready. Okay, so we're going to open up Pokemon X and Pokemon Y in 3, 2, 1, go. The timer has been set. We have 10 minutes, and we'll get it going. So anyway... We're trying to beat each other right now. We are facing each other. It's a versus. It's a versus. It's awesome. And in addition to all that, we it's, it's a solo lock. So it's kind of like a solo run, nuzlocke combination, which is awesome. And you guys may have seen this on Just Play Pokemon's channel with Pokemon Heart Gold. Pokemon Heart Gold Randomizer Solo Lock. So I'm the one that kind of gave him the idea, and now we're, I'm finally trying to, you know, bring it into my channel a little bit and show it to you guys. So... It features the normal Nuzlocke rules. If you want to just tell them if they've been living under a rock what the Nuzlocke rules are, just normal Nuzlocke. Standard Nuzlocke rules are, one, you have to catch the first Pokemon on the route that you are on. You cannot catch any other Pokemon. Uh, it's basically first encounter. Uh, you have to nickname every Pokemon that you run into. Um, if your Pokemon dies, it is officially dead forever. And Dumb. you can't get it back. So, and what else? That's pretty much it for the normal Nuzlocke rules. Now, the solo lock pretty much takes those rules and the, you know, solo run, not really rules, but regulations. You can only use one Pokemon for the whole entire time. And kind of spins it on its head. Makes it a little bit different, you know, puts them together. They made a baby, the solo lock. So, solo lock. What's a solo run? You use one Pokemon. So, for the first gym, we're going to use one Pokemon only. Our starter Pokemon. Oh, I love little Fletching right here. But, how do I explain this? So, you have one Pokemon, you go through the first gym. After you beat that first gym leader, you have to catch the next Pokemon that you see. No matter what it is, whether you love it, whether you hate it, whether you think it's okay, you have to catch it. So we're going to be using a Master Ball code. Because we don't want, you know, if you find like, I don't know, uh, a Flabebe, and you don't want it like, oh no, I didn't catch it, my bad. You don't want that happening. You know, you have to be forced to use it, whether you like it or not. So, we're going to be using a Master Ball code to be able to catch any Pokemon that we find. Now, that Pokemon is going to replace the solo run Pokemon that we are using. So, for example, if I choose Froki, if I choose Froki for the beginning of the game, then I beat the first Gym Leader, the next Pokemon that I find, let's say it's Litleo, I have to catch that Litleo, and then that will be my new solo run Pokemon instead of Froki. Froki is done out of the Let's Play. You did a good job, buddy. And then, to make it, you know, fair enough, you level up that Litleo to the same level as the Froki. Let's say it was level 14. That Litleo is now level 14 to balance that out. Sort of like an egg lock when you replace, you know, an egg, that whatever that hatches into, with the, the same level as the wild Pokemon that you caught. So... With that being said, we have some clauses. Sorry, I know it's a lot of me talking. It's rules, it's episode one, you guys know. But yeah. there are some clauses that go with this. The first one is the shiny clause. We run into a shiny. We're going to count it as our encounter. We can catch it. In terms of the solo aspect of it, we're not going to be able to use it, but we're still going to catch it and do whatever the fuck we want with it. There's a species clause. If I run into a Marip and use Marip, and then later in the game... Zypher runs into a, fla uh, a Flaffy. I had a marry. He runs into a Flaffy. He can't use it because we're not able to use the same species just because we want to make it different for you guys. So the same species, the same Pokemon cannot be used in the Let's Play. So I can't use a Piplup and he uses an Empoleon later in the game. Just want to make it different. Next rule that we're using is the Mercy rule. So for each gym, we're allowed to have one death. Anything in the span of one gym, I don't want to be called Little J. Fuck that. I don't know. Juniper. So anyway, <laughs> I like Juniper. That's, that's like my old channel name. Alright. 
them. So yes, we can have one death, one death for every gym span. For one Pokemon, for every time that we use that, we can have one death. Grinding, we may do grinding. And then the winner is whoever gets to the credit screen first. That's a lot of stuff. Shiny Claws, Species Claws, Mercy Rule Claws, whatever. And then the winner claws, I guess you can call it, whoever gets to the credits screen. <sighs> Deep breath. It's a solo run in a Nuzlocke. There you go. <laughs> yes. And now that that's perfect. That took us right to the starter screen. That was beautiful. I'm going to pick Fennekin. Oh, I already picked Chespin. Oh, shit. I'm pulling behind. Motherfucker. So anyway, Oh, safer. oh we, we have to give it a nickname, don't we? We do. Holy shit. Oops. That's going to be my weakness. All right, let's Oops. see. Wow, Zypher, minus five points. <laughs> okay, you know what? Because I didn't give it a nickname, I'll, I'll sit here for like 10 seconds. All right. <laughs> do you do you do your thing? I'm naming this thing Fox because I don't want to waste any time. <laughs> so I'm naming it Fox. Uh, so anyway, now that I'm done with my whole spiel of rules, you know. It's a Nuzlocke and a Solo Run. That, that's all it is. And we're leveling up our new Solo Run Pokemon after each gym. You know, first encounter. So, yeah. How you doing, Zypher? How you doing? Um, I already picked Chespin. Um, depending on where you are, I am already out of Aquacord Town. You know, this is no fair because I was saying all the rules. No fair. You I were saying bullshit. I'm... Yeah. Oh, I, I call bullshit too because you can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, now we got I, a battle. Wait, did you already battle? No, I didn't. Oh, I was gonna say like them. I, I I went I went to go run north of Aquacord and realized that the hiker made you run back. <laughs> see, you see, you're already falling behind, man. You're dumb boy. So I I did in fact screw up. However, I'm about to one shot this Froki with Vine Whip. Oh, that Vine Whip. You know what? You know we're at the same point right now because I'm about to one hit this Chespin with the nice Ember though. No! Uh, what? You know, Froakie knows wait, pound? What? That did nothing. What the fuck is going on? Ha! Oh, I almost one-shotted. There's a lot of bullshit right here. I'm just saying. Uh, so yeah, today we're doing a 10-minute timer. Next episode, we're going to do a 20-minute timer as well as every other episode. We're down to 3 minutes and 35 seconds in the gameplay timer. So yeah, Let's see if we can make the most of it. I'm feeling pretty confident. Do you? Who do you think is going to win this one, Zypher? Are you rooting for Team Zypher? I'm I'm rooting for myself. I don't know why. Obviously. <laughs> so everyone in the comment section, let us know: Are you on Team 4GG or Team Zypher? It's it's gonna be fun because our Pokemon's gonna be constantly changing, and that'll really change the whole just the whole solo lock aspect. Because one moment I may be running awesome with like a Gengar, and then my next encounter is a freaking Weedle, you know? <laughs> so. Just, just to, just to clarify all of this, are we getting a new Pokemon each route or each no, no, no. gym? After each gym, the next okay. encounter that we get, that we see, we have to catch, whether we like okay. it or not. Because <laughs> part of me was like, man, we're gonna be switching Pokemon a lot if it was nah, each don't route. Even, don't worry about <laughs> that. <laughs> uh. All right, so we got the professor letter. Don't really care. Obviously, we're not gonna be reading dialogue because we're trying to fucking speed through the game. <laughs> I'm not reading I, my I, mommy's dialogue. I care less about this game. I've played through it three times already. I don't I don't want to No, no, mom, no, mom, mom. I don't want to know how to open up my bag. I'm really good right now. You don't even have to worry. I got the town map uh, that I might need. I'm not that familiar with Kalos actually. No, fuck. I, I just went through that tutorial too. Yeah, god damn it. Fuck. Button spamming though. All right, so we're down to around two minutes. We're saying hi to Rhyhorn right now. And next episode, we'll really get into the meat and the bones of this, you know, this wonderful solo lock versus. <laughs> uh, okay, there we go. Shut up, Mom. <laughs> Shut up, Mom. <laughs> uh, all right. She really has no idea what she's talking about. Yeah. Man, you know, a lot of people, you know, they're talking about better camera angles and stuff in RS, but I actually do like some of these angles in, uh, in X and Y. I think they don't get as exciting in the... They don't get as exciting, like, you know, later in the game, but there are some cool ones, like, you know, Route 1 and stuff, you know? In the know. beginning of the game, they're really good. I know. I feel like they, they get a little... They got a little lazier later on. They're just trying to impress us at the beginning, you know? Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. All right. We got the first wild battle here. We got the little Pidgey. Little Pidgey. Hey, did you know that Pidgey is automatically your first wild battle no matter what? Really? Yep. That's interesting. I never knew that. 
Pidgey's going down. I'm yelling Timber. Because every single time I've played this game, it's always been a wild Pidgey. I feel like that's, yeah, I feel like I've experienced that as well. We are under the Minimark. We're at 50 seconds right now. Dang. Oh, man. So now remember, once we stop, you have to just stop playing. Nothing else. <laughs> no restoring your Pokemon or healing them up. Uh, My Fennekin's already taking a little beating right now. <laughs> I have to sit through the stupid how to catch Pokemon screen right now. Oh, uh, me too. I think we might have to go over a little bit with our time. If we're in the middle of a battle or something, like a freaking tutorial, then we will have to go over a little bit. Nothing you can do about it. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a Bunnelby. I've never seen one of those before. Uh, Diggers be though. Diggers be though. All right, we got 10 seconds. This game's gonna make us go over a little bit because this is how you catch a fucking Pokemon. <laughs> hey, I just caught a Bunnelby. Wow. Wait. Oh, the tutorial? Oh, fuck. Whoa. All right, that's loud. That's loud. Oh my god, that timer's loud. Holy fuck. Sorry, headphone users. Rip. I, I, mean, I, was, using, <laughs> I was using Google's timer. I know it would be that fucking loud. Jesus. Wow. That was crazy. Yeah, Google. Google Chrome's like all the way up right now. <laughs> oh, dang. All right, so yeah, Bunnelby was caught. So, anyway, I guess you can stop. I'll let you know when you can stop because my tutorial's still going on. Oh, wait, I'm allowed to go? Well, I couldn't stop, so I don't know. How do we handle that? <laughs> I'll just stop and wait because you're in the middle of a tutorial, so we're going to be at the same spot. Yeah. All right, so whatever, blah, blah, blah. So today we're at like the same spot and now I can't do anything. All right, I'm just- We're actually at exactly the same spot. We are, holy shit. This is crazy. All right, well anyway guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Leave a like, leave a like if you are excited for the solo lock versus if you're excited, let us know, Team 4 gg Team Zypher, which one are you on down in the comment section below? And I'll be a terrible person if I did not say, go check out Zypher's YouTube and Twitch linked down below. He does a lot of awesome Pokemon content, a lot of cool 6th gen stuff. He used to do some X and Y, but obviously, you know, besides the uh, uh, Let's Play, no one really cares about X and Y anymore. So he's doing that or ass stuff and all the new 6th gen stuff. So go check him out, links down below. And anything you want through him before you get out of here. Come join the, come join the Zypher squad. Is that that is what that is what my uh, my followers are called. Cipher Squad. Bullet punch that subscribe button and bullet punch mm. that follow button as well. Yes, indeed. All right, thank you guys for watching once again. We'll see you in the next episode of the Pokemon X and Y Solo Lock Co-op versus craziness. Peace.